What's up, date fans? I'm Roger Lodge, and welcome to the party I like to call Blind Date. And coming up a little bit later, we'll hit the Vegas Strip to set up an ultimate fighter with a Hooters waitress. Oh, that is top quality family entertainment. But first, let's kick things off with Ivy and Matt. Now, Ivy calls herself strange and offbeat and dares any man to put up with her for an entire day. Nice sell. Her lucky date today is Matt, and he likes to party and make people laugh. And when it comes to his women, the man doesn't ask for much. I want a girl that uh, is willing to give uh, you know anybody a chance. I like it when people are a little bit off, like they walk a little weird, or they have a hair lip, or they have a scar. You either love me or you hate me. There's no in between. I am prideful and immature and rude and selfish, but I have a good side too. I am a bad boy looking for retirement. Retirement? Well, before we send Maddie off to the old folks' home, let's send them off with Ivy. Some fun? Hey, do you roller skate here? Uh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> so excited? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Excited. Yeah? Yep. Not as nervous once you saw this mug. No. I'm probably one of the only people here that's not in the entertainment industry or trying to be. I'm a solar technician. What? I install solar panels for hot water and domestic. Mm -hmm. Like hot water for pools and domestic hot water. Have you ever impregnated a woman? Uh, yes, I have. Good? 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 Do you have kids? Uh, yes, I do. I have one. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, girl or boy? Boy. Really? Yes. How old is he? Eight years old. Ah. How old are you? 29. And you? Tom ass, 23. <laughs> Okay, can you talk about cyborgs for minutes? Cyborgs, and you have a fascination with cyborgs. I really do. My name is 3247. I am a cyborg. Time for Cybertron. All right. Not many people respond to it very well. I think a terrific idea for what we might be able to do today. Um, I would like you to have a tattoo. Sweat balls. <laughs> My friend and I say sweet skis. Like, like, like if something's cool, you go sweet skis. Like add skis on everything, right? But then it became sweat skis because we just mess up the words. Sweat skis. Okay. And then we like cyborgs, but then cyborg became cyborg. So then it became sweat bog. Whenever anything cool happens. Please write cyborg on it. No, I've already started something else. Oh, okay. Is it like crazy bitch or something? So why did you want to do this? Like, did you really want to meet somebody or did you just sort of like feel like it'd be a fun thing to do? That'd be fun. Totes, totes, me too, me too. Gentlewoman. Hi! <laughs> Hi! Ivy, right? What's your name, dude? Dave. Dave. Nice to meet you. Um, welcome to Rod Max. Yeah! Hi. I heard, uh... Did I love pizza? Did you love pizza, I yeah. Pizza. So you came to the right place, so we're actually gonna... Making? We're gonna make you make some pizzas. My name is Saibo. I will now... Like, he can't even move his arm. Like, I will now insert sauce into the pizza. Now, do cyborgs actually eat pizza? Yes, they Since do. Although they cannot ingest it. Intensely in cyborg history. Damn, this cyborg, this whole <laughs> cyborg world that I wish I could go visit for at least like an hour or something, man. You can visit anytime you like. Seven two 
for signing off. Bloop, 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 bloop. You're always the same number, which is making me start to believe that you really are a cyborg. When was the last serious relationship you had? Four or five years ago. You're kidding me. No. I date people and then all of a sudden they get freaked out and run away. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't imagine why. Well, does the cyborg uh, fascination get any more in intense or in depth? I think that might, might be what it is. You got a cyborg outfit back home? The one I put on the robot suit that like, ugh. <sighs> You're entertaining. Am I? Oh, yeah, very much so. And I'm they're not totally here. repulsive ugly, right? I, I'll tell you this. I went through an ugly phase to meet the band. Now, you could perceive me as ugly right now. A lot of people do. Because they're like, hey, moon face, how you doing? Nice moon cheekbone. face. Because I have a big round face. Looks like a big pot. Do I scare you at all? Because men say, you scare me. You scare me. I'm like, get up. Exactly. Yeah. No, but I'm not running, as, as you notice. Yeah, we've only been on one date, so. They run after about seven days. Oh, so they're okay. like scamper away like a little bunny in the woods. <laughs> You're like, I can't believe I got hooked up with this crazy. What? You're like a barrel of monkeys, dude. You start playing with it, you can't put them down. <laughs> Honestly, if I, I met me and I was somebody else, I'd be like, get that bitch out of my face. Nice, nice meeting you. Should we hug it out? I guess so. Okay. We should do this again, definitely. All right. All right. Okay. Have a good night. You too. Okay. Bye. Okay, wait a minute. Did he just say we should do this again? I guess so. Okay. We should do this again, definitely. That must be some dry spell Matt's in. We'll get to our first post date ever with a cyborg next. My name is 3247. I am a cyborg. I date people and then all of a sudden they get freaked out and run away. 834724, signing off. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Just when I thought I'd seen it all on this show, along comes Ivy. I mean, it's not very often a woman thinks she's a cyborg. I was definitely into everything Ivy had to say about cyborgs for some reason and her whole philosophy on cyborg life. So, I mean, it was cool to listen to that anyway. I was incredibly impressed that Matt was able to respond to cyborg with such fervor. I don't think Ivy was turned off by the fact that I have a son. It wasn't down with the fact that Matt had a kid because it's just a lot of baggage. I felt that Ivy and I kind of had a connection here and there. I might have felt it. I don't think I'm sexually attracted to Matt. I think Ivy's very dateable. He is dateable. Not for me, though. Yeah. I mean, she needs a date with someone she has much more in common with, like maybe a, well, you make the call. Welcome back. Now, earlier, we all enjoyed Matt's date with Ivy. No doubt the first cyborg ever to appear on our show. And for all you fans of the robot world, we offer you this from our cutting room floor. Enjoy. How do cyborgs urinate? Well, they have a trap door. <laughs> I knew it. It's just the liquid goes down like those little potty dolls that like you squeeze out the urine. So basically, it, it goes into their system. They have a tube and then it releases into a little pot, and then you lift the handle and it all spills out. Really, they couldn't design like a way to dispense of the cyborg urine without... No, you have to lift the flap. <laughs> Changing the cyborg urinal real quick. I was juicing myself up. My eyes twitching. What's that mean? <laughs> oh, how sweet. 834724, signing off. Bloop, 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 bloop. And on that note, perhaps it's best that I just get out of here. I'll see you later. Bye.